G'day folks, Steve from Vintage Restorations Australia here. In today's video we take the Landy to town for a bath and then we get on to replacing the Carby and see if she's going to run a little bit better. the little ute down to uh, car lovers. I just want to degrease the motor. It's going to have a bit of work done on it and uh, it's a bit like brushing your teeth before you go to the dentist I guess. So I'm going to give the uh, engine a little bit of a degrease and jet blast. This is kind of the as found condition of this. It's a little bit greasy and grimy but it's all there. I'll give her a bit of a tub, a bit of a degrease. Three in one degreaser. I'm not sure what the three things are. I always thought degreaser was degreaser, but apparently the, you can have it does three things. It's like oven cleaner, this stuff. <sighs> there she's all washed down and degreased and demudded. She's a little bit less greasy now. Ready for some more love. This crazy old carburetor, it works but it doesn't work very well. Uh, it ends up cheaper with these things sometimes to just replace them rather than trying to, to refurb them. Uh, like a refurb kit is about $100, new carby was about $200. So the economics of uh, of, of doing it sometimes it's cheaper just to replace it inevitably they never run that well when they've had a kit put through them but uh, so we're just going to replace this one uh, we need to put an adapter plate on that to skew it the other way and we'll come up with some uh, some plan for a air filter and things uh, once we've got it on uh, it's kind of pointless replacing and tuning a carby until you've made sure all the electrical stuff is working fine so we're going to get that done and uh, replace this carby. So I've removed this old carby, it's a bit rattly, not much good, <coughs> and replaced it with this uh, reproduction one. Uh, we put in the adapter plate there to spin it around and it all looks shiny and new, it's all plumbed in ready to go. So we might give it a bit of a test and see how she runs. So before we give it a run, we'll just pop a bit of fresh fuel in. So I popped a bit of fresh fuel in, because uh, the fuel in it was a bit dirty, so we've replaced that, connected up a fresh battery, and we'll give it a start to see how it goes. I'll do the throttle. All you gotta do is press that button there when I say. Okay, so I don't do the throttle? No, I'll do the throttle. Please press that button. Just press the button when I tell you. All right. All right, press the button. Go again. 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 Hold the button until it starts. Go. Up. On. Up. On. Up. As soon as it starts, turn it Again. Suck fuel through. Go again. There she goes.
Go to square to the mandatory start, you bastard, to get it going. Turn along quite happily there. You hear that uh, exhaust is just cut off there, she's a bit throaty. Driving quite well, sounds good. That's the beauty of just uh, putting these carbies on, they're kind of often set up and ready to go. We haven't done the electrics yet, so I don't want to do too much to the carby. We'll um, do the uh, points and the condenser and stuff, uh, and then give it a tune once we've done that, and adjust the mix at that point rather than now, um, until we've done the timing and corrected those points and things. They looked a little bit white when I had a look, so I've ordered a set of points there on the way, should be here in the next day or so. And once that's on, Crack on with doing the mix, and she should be right. So she started up pretty well. Um, feels like the clutch is still working, so uh, we'll just give it a quick little test. Turn it on, see if she'll start a second time. There she goes. Pretty throaty in here. Clutch in. And break off. Oh, and we're away. Uh, no brakes. Handbrake though. That's alright. She goes forwards. This one goes backwards. There you go. Rolling. So that's, that's a bit of fun. No brakes is a thing. Low range. She runs, she drives, sort of, no brakes. Uh, we'll get onto those brakes at some point and uh, see what we can do about getting it to stop now that we've got it going. You want to come up? Come on. Bloody dogs. Well, I guess that's it, folks. Uh, we've got the carby in and it's running. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with that. As I said, the next thing is we're going to do that electrical tune and... Um, put the points and the condenser in and then we'll do the details for that carby, uh, fix the mix. So I'm going to be here on the farm for the next couple of weeks in uh, isolation. Uh, there's not much to do here apart from grow food and, and hang out and play with Land Rovers. So hopefully I'll get a lot done with the Landy in the next couple of weeks. Um, I am expecting those parts to turn up tomorrow. I've got a few notifications from the post office saying there's five parcels, not four, but five, uh, which includes the exhaust system for this um, and a few other bits, some lights uh, and other bits and pieces. We'll see. We might have an unboxing video or something. Um, till then, take care of yourselves, please. Uh, look after each other too. See ya. I recently started uh, talking a lot to my chickens. And I'm a little bit worried about my own mental health. You know, I saw this other guy on YouTube, he does the same. He's a strange kind of cat, but uh, he's alright. Anyway. <laughs>